this weekend, including here in New York City. On Friday night, thousands of members of Jewish Voice for Peace New York City and their allies shut down the main terminal of Grand Central Station during rush hour. It's the largest sit-in protest the city has seen in over two decades. Many wore shirts that said, not in our name. Banners were unfurled reading, Palestinians should be free, and Israelis demand ceasefire now. One sign read, never again for anyone. The multiracial intergenerational movement says about 400 people were arrested, including rabbis, famous actors, and elected officials. Democracy Now! was there. Today, we bring you some of the voices at Grand Central, including Rosalind Pacheski, professor of political science at Hunter College. Jews, but we are here to protest the genocide that is happening in our name. It has to stop. We are crying every minute. When we listen to your show, we are crying. I have a dear friend, Mohammed, with his little family in Gaza. He almost got blown up today. We can't let this go on. We believe in justice and the right to live. But Palestinians have been the victims of oppression for 75 years, and it has to stop. That's why we're here, to say not in our name. I am older than the state of Israel. There's Jewish prayers in the background. The sun is going down, and it's the Jewish Sabbath. It is. And on Shabbat, we have to pray. So 
October 13th, unfortunately, children and their families continue to be killed. These sorts of collective uh, actions, uh, collective responsibility is um, illegal. These sorts of mass killings of civilian areas, mass bombings of civilian areas are um, illegal and immoral. The United States uh, should be leading to call for a ceasefire now. I've never been prouder of the 18 Congress uh, persons who have called for a ceasefire now, and I'm calling on President Biden and Senator Schumer and my assembly person, Nadler. Please, please, these are not Jewish values. It is not a Jewish value to be dropping bombs on children, killing children and their families. I am uh, State Senator Jabari Brisport, the 25th State Senate District in Brooklyn, and I'm here calling for a ceasefire in order to allow for the release of hostages and humanitarian aid. I carry the Not On Our Dime the legislation with the Senator Mamdani, which will uh, stop uh, New York from uh, allowing for fake charities that um, claim to be charities um, to help Israeli citizens, but actually fund displacement and destruction and settler violence um, in Palestinian territory. Are you planning to get arrested today? I got arrested a week ago, and I am I'm going to let others uh, step up today. I got arrested a week ago at a sit-in outside Senator Gillibrand's office asking her to start calling for a ceasefire. My name is Zahran Mamdani. I'm an assembly member for parts of Astoria and Long Island City, and I'm here today to join thousands of Jewish New Yorkers, rabbis, and allies to say that the time is now for an immediate ceasefire. Are you willing to get arrested? I'm not going to be getting arrested today because I was arrested two weeks ago, and I was advised to not get arrested immediately after. What were you arrested for? I was arrested for civil disobedience, for disorderly conduct. I was arrested alongside Assembly Member Marcella Matanis in front of Senator Chuck Schumer's home, calling on him to support the demand for an immediate ceasefire. What does it mean to you that on this Shabbos, this Jewish Sabbath, thousands of Jews are here at Grand Central saying ceasefire now? It shows that what we have been told about the consent for this genocide is not true. So many of the Jewish New Yorkers here are struggling through heartbreak and mourning of October 7th, and they have made it very clear that do not use their heartbreak, their tragedy, as a justification for the genocide of Palestinians. In over two and a half weeks, we've already seen more than 7,000 Palestinians be killed, close to 3,000 Palestinian children, one Palestinian child killed every 15 minutes. These New Yorkers and so many across the state are saying the time is now for a ceasefire, and if you're not calling for it, you're supporting a genocide. Uh, Sandy Nurse. I'm a council member to the 37th district. And you represent what area of the city? Bushwick, Cypress Hills, Brownsville, East New York, City Line. And why are you here today? I'm here today to stand in solidarity with Jews, Muslims, allies, because we believe in a free Palestine. We believe in a Palestine without military occupation. We believe that we need to end this genocidal war. And we do not believe that our dollars, our tax dollars, should be used to bomb other children. We don't believe that murder of one set of children brings about murder for another set of children. We need to end this war and we need to move towards a peaceful solution. Are you a prudential member of the media? I'm going to ask you as a courtesy please to leave the steps. Um, they're playing an announcement that uh, people are obstructing the steps or they're in violation. Uh, they're going to they're gonna start possibly making arrests. So if you're a, in, you're a prudential member of the media, I'm going to ask you for the same courtesy. If you please leave the area. Thank you.
and Jews, American Jews, have to step up and say, not in our name, not with our tax money. You cannot do this kind of genocide in front of our eyes or ever again. Why are you getting arrested today? Oh, yeah, I am. My whole family is here. I'm here with my daughters, my grandchildren. They're not getting arrested. They moved out. Uh, my husband, we're all here together. There are 13 of us. Never again for anyone! Never again is no! Never again is no! I'm here to support the people of Gaza, the people who are currently experiencing a genocide. Um, it's disgusting that our government has enabled this, um, and so we're here shutting down Grand Central um, to show that we, the people here, will not tolerate that. Arrest me because I have a cane. They won't What's arrest me. I want to get arrested. They re they're refusing. Yes, I want to get arrested. All right, well, okay. Stand up. Okay. I need help standing up. It's my name is Joyce Rabbit. I, I think that it's really important that there's a ceasefire. Ma'am, can you let go of your cane for a second? I let go of my cane. I'll be right back to you. I'm going to be right back. That there's a ceasefire that people stop killing each other. We have to stop killing each other. We can't. We won't get rid of Hamas. We won't get rid of an idea. We might get rid of the organization. We might get rid of all of the people in Gaza. All of the Palestinians might be killed, but the idea won't die. Freedom won't die. Voices from the historic Jewish Voice for Peace protest on Friday that shut down Grand Central Station in New York City. Protesters were calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. About 400 people were arrested in what's believed to be the largest sit-in protest New York has seen in over two decades.